Good morning. Hope you guys are doing well this morning. Replay viewers, hey there. How are you? Let me know you stopped in. Uh, put replay in the comments this morning. You guys seen the title, You Need Peace to Prosper. You need peace to prosper. Trust me when I tell you, you need peace to prosper. I had a conversation with a client recently that made me want to come and come on and talk about the fact that you need peace to prosper i'm not saying that you can't you know do your thing get your hustle and grind on you know when there is no peace but it, it just doesn't last you need peace to prosper i'm going to talk about that on this morning and give you guys some insight on doing that um we're in a time and a season where there's a lot of uncertainty in our country you weren't about you know whether or not you're going to send the kids to school you know are you going to do virtual or are you going to you know send them there allow them to social distance don't know what the directives have been in your particular country but those are some of the concerns right now uh, the job market is a concern uh, for many people right now um, of course the pandemic is a concern for many people right now and then on top of all of that right on top of all of that we got regular everyday life stuff that we are maneuvering through and i'm here to tell you that you need peace to prosper i have three directives for the live trainings as you all join me um you're going to fit in one of three categories well everybody's going to fit in the third category but one of these first two categories you will fit in number one this is your first time you've never been on a live training with me before um, put what you do, how you serve in the marketplace, um, how the world gets to experience you, what type of business do you own. Put that in the comments for me. The second thing that I want you to do this morning is, if this is not your first time, like, okay, you've seen me before, you may have even worked with me before, put hashtag renew in the comments. Renew is the name of my consulting business, renew full circle, all the way, right? Because we get our whole life over here good morning we get our whole life over here so it's your first time just let me know what type of business you run where you rock out in the marketplace and how you serve number two it's not your first time at a rodeo like you're a regular um put hashtag renew in the comments and everybody can fit in this third directive there's a button on the left that says share guess what you can press that button and when you press it something magical happens it allows you to share out with someone else on your timeline there's not too many people in this season that i know that aren't looking for new measures of peace and it's mandatory if you want to prosper it's mandatory if you want to prosper so maybe somebody was kind enough to share and you just ran across this video and you're like who's this lady what is she talking about peace prosperity all the things i'm tanya wilson cherry i am the growth strategist business coach and mentor to women just like you um, who want to profit more in their business, who want to grow businesses that fund their lifestyle and not run their lifestyle. Many of you may feel like all of these external things going on around you. Pearl Queen, good morning, darling. How are you? Listen, when I tell you, I you are fly every time I see you, Miss Pearl. Every time I see you online, right? And I even outside of social media but good morning thank you for blessing me with your presence but guys you need peace to prosper you simply need peace to prosper i was on a oh i think i was introducing myself i think that's what i was doing for those of you who shared and maybe somebody came on um and uh, they're like who's this lady what is she talking about then guys do me another favor if somebody can just put the word clear in the comments because I'm actually on my Bluetooth so I realized that I don't speak like really loud so I thought maybe using my Bluetooth would help so let me know guys if you um, can hear me give me one second I'm gonna check something really really quick one second okay I took a little break I know that wasn't cool because you know it might have like made you all lose your attention span because everybody's attention span really short but I wanted to make sure the Bluetooth was on 
Um, and then if you guys could do me a favor and someone who comes on, just put clear in the comments if you can hear me. Somebody put clear in the comments if you can hear me. You're going to need peace in order to prosper. Um, I was doing a quick introduction, growth strategist, business coach, and mentor to women just like yourself who want to profit more in their business, um, who want to build amazing brands and create lifestyles that they love. I help women to brand, build, and profit. I function from a three-point perspective, abundance mindset, abundance thinking, personal growth, and business building. Those are the perfect three when those things are in alignment. Everything in your brand building process Shifts. I'm also the founder of 3D Success Academy for Women in Business. And this morning, we're talking about your peace. Did you know it was part of the process? Um, there's a scripture. It's Psalm 126, 5 and 6. Psalm 126, 5 and 6. And I forgot, I didn't tell you I was a kingdom entrepreneur. Not that, you know, I have to say that. But I'm a kingdom entrepreneur. Um, and so oftentimes I'll throw a scripture here or there so that you can see how to use scriptures in your every, everyday life process. But this one particular scripture says that um, those that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. I want to I want to like break that down really quick for you and then I'm going to move into some things that disturb your peace, right? I want you guys to be able to have peace in the midst of chaos. Who who wants peace in the midst of chaos? I know it may seem unrealistic, but guys, I am a living witness, right? I've had some chaotic times in my life and I've been able to maneuver and strategize so that I can maintain my peace in the midst of all the chaos and I want you all to be able to do the very same thing because you need peace to prosper. So I was sharing with you all the scripture that came to mind um, when I was preparing to come on and it's the scripture, those who sow in tears will reap in joy. Those who sow in tears will reap in joy. And oftentimes we get real excited about that particular scripture because we're like, yeah, I may have had to cry my way through this thing. I may have been frustrated praying to God help me help me to figure this thing out but when this is all over I will reap in joy right so you know that's kind of the concept that we take when we think about that particular scripture but I got another download can I share it with you guys put yes in the comments if it's okay if I share with you guys the the download that I got from that particular scripture and then I'm going to give you some things um, that you can be aware of that may be blocking your peace in the midst of all the things that we are going through. Put me in the comments if you want to hear that. Psalm 126, 5 through 6. It says, those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. How about you got to find joy before you reap? Lord have mercy. You have to find your joy before you reap. Listen, whenever you are operating and functioning and there is not a measure of peace in the process, guess what you become? Guess what you become? If you're trying to do this thing without peace, you become a double-minded man. And we know that a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. And that's exactly what transpires when you attempt to prosper without peace. You become unstable in all your ways. Listen, when you try to do this thing without a measure of peace in the process, you become like a double-minded man. You become unstable in all of your ways. Today I will. No, later on today, nah, I don't feel like it. Um, I'm not sure, I'm not certain. This is hard. All those things go on and it creates this atmosphere of double-mindedness. And then you become unstable in all of your ways. So I'm here to tell you guys that you need peace in order to prosper. And that very scripture, 126, five through six, um, the download that I got for that particular scripture and the revelation that I got was, Okay, yeah, you crying and you sewing and you still working while you pushing through all the chaos and all the unrest, but you got to find a sense of joy if you want to reap. And that was such a blessing for me because what happens when we're attempting to, um, when we're attempting to progress in the middle of 
um, Tasha Thames. Tasha, can you do me a favor, dear? Can you let me know if you can hear me? Put I can. It's clear, something in the comments, because I actually have Bluetooth on, because my voice is kind of low, and I wanted to know if it's even working. I'm hoping that it's working, because I'm dropping some major stuff. But Tasha, I see, I just saw your name pop up. Hello, welcome. This may be your first time, too. Welcome, dear. Can you just put clear in the comments for me, or um, I can hear you if you can hear me, or anybody that comes on for that, for that matter, right? But guys, you need peace in order to prosper. I was on a call recently with a client and you know we were going through a process and asking you know how are things going and you know where are you at with the strategies that we had talked about doing and you know she was kind of like well I'm kind of doing okay. Now mind you she was doing her everyday regular normal stuff but the stuff that was really going to move her to her next level that was really going to I'm gonna get my other device here cuz yeah I ain't cooperating and I need to make sure it's going down so as soon as that comes back on I'm gonna look to see um, what's transpiring but my client was saying well you know it's okay and I'm, I'm moving but I sensed that she wasn't moving um, with a momentum that was really needed for what we were discussing um, or what we had strategized. And oftentimes, guys, when there is no peace, there's unrest, there's uncertainty in your mind, in your situation, you'll still move, you'll still do things, but those things that are really going to shift the trajectory of your life and your business, you don't do those things. You don't have the energy for those things. Your mind is saying, I know I need to do this, right? But your body, um, on the other hand, or your subconscious mind just won't allow you to do those things that are really going to shift and change things around. So what I did with my client was I walked her through um, a method that I teach called the ASAP method. Because whenever there is unrest, whenever there is no peace, a lot of times you just got to figure out like where am I at in this process? What's going on? You know, how do I make this thing happen? And so I can't, I can hear myself, you know, y'all yeah, ain't been cooperating with putting the clear in the comments or whatever, but it's all good. I'm gonna keep going because somebody is going to come on and see this and this is going to be exactly what that particular individual needs. So we walked through the method and realized that you know, several things were going on for her during this time. Like I said, we're facing the pandemic. Many of you are moms and wives, and um, some of you may be essential workers or have been the whole time, and you're having to go out in the public and then come back home to your family. You have new um, lines for how you work if you are doing a, um, if you have a business that is a local business, it's a brick and mortar. Uh, all the things, right? Every time you go, you have to think about, like, am I, you know, being careful enough? Just a lot of things to think about in the season. But you can't prosper without peace. You can't prosper without peace. So as my client and I walked through that particular method, I thought about the fact that that's been a recurring theme as well for people who were connecting with me and consulting. It's like, I mean, it just seems like it's just so much going on. I don't know which, you know, way to turn. So I want you guys to do a couple things. This one is, you know, this is going to help you bring an awareness to whether or not you're attempting to prosper without peace. If you're asking questions to yourself and answering them with questions that you can't answer, more than likely... There is no peace in your process. I'm going to say that one more time. If you're asking questions to yourself and answering them with questions that you don't have an answer to, more than like unrest and an unease in your process, there is no peace in your process, right? This is what will cause the unrest. Decisions you haven't decided on decisions that you have not decided on 
will cause unrest, a sense of chaos on top of the chaos that's transpiring, and it will remove your peace. So what does that look like? You know, when you have, there's so many decisions that we need to make during this time. And here's something that I do when I have like so many decisions in front of me, right? When I have all these decisions that I haven't decided on, it messes with my peace, which messes with my prosperity. I must say that again, when you have decisions that you have not decided on, it messes with your peace which in turn messes with your prosperity. So what you have to do is to be able to categorize the different decisions that you have to make. Is this a decision that I need to make right now? Or can I put that thing on kind of like the back burner or in another compartment for me to be able to deal with later? So are you, um, do you have tons of decisions that you haven't decided on? You got to know where to put the decisions. For instance, a friend of mine and I were talking recently and we've been getting all these emails and directives from our children's school. <clears throat> They're attending the same school. And with those emails, you heard me say directives. So there were several time sensitive things that they were asking the parents to do and it seemed like very last minute, like needing us the sizes to be able to order uniforms for the children. You know, the school is actually, you know, doing that or whatever. I'm not questioning it, right? Because that's just one thing at this point I don't need to worry about because normally we order them, right? I don't know why they're ordering the, the uniforms for us, but it, at this point it doesn't really matter. So my friend and I were talking and she was sharing how frustrated she was with all of these last minute emails and questions and dates and deadlines that the school was sending. And I shared with her how I was handling it, right? Remember I said decisions that you haven't decided on are one of the things that causes unrest and a lack of peace in your process. Decisions that you have not decided on causes a lot of unrest and unease which messes with your peace. Which, which messes with your prosperity. Good morning, Maisha. How are you, dear? So you have to know where to put the decisions. So this is what my friend was sharing. She was like, well, my daughter is, you know, normal shape or size. And, you know, she may be smaller here and bigger there. And I need to know the material of the uniforms and all those things. Things that we normally worry about with our children, you know, buying their clothes and things of that nature. But if you're just sending somebody a size and you don't have more information, all of those thoughts can come to your mind. This is what I told her I, I did, right? Because sometimes you got to decide, like, is what I'm spending all this time, energy, and effort on, can I really do anything about it in this moment? You got to decide where to put those decisions that you haven't quite decided on yet. So I shared with her, I said, listen, when I got the email, I simply asked them, was, this, was there a size chart? I had all the same thoughts you had. Like, I don't know, you know, how it's going to fit. Does it have stretch in the material of the uniform? I didn't know any of those things either, right? But it, in that moment, in that moment, it wasn't those one of those real big decisions that I needed to be making at the time. So I asked the question, is there a size chart? I took her measurements and I sent them to, to her because that wasn't a decision that I was going to sit and ponder on in that moment. Does that make sense for you guys? Listen, one of the things that blocks your peace, that blocks your pr prosperity is decisions that you have not decided on. All of those questions and things rolling around in your head. And I want you to know that every decision that you're faced with making is not a decision that's like urgent for you to make it in that moment. And if you can learn to compartmentalize where your decision deciding process needs to go, like, is this something I have to decide right now, right? Because what's happening in this pandemic and in this time that we're currently seeing is there are a lot of things that you're facing, a lot of things that are being thrown at you. There are a lot of changes that are being made that are making you feel like you have to make a decision about it right now, right? So for one, our uh, state has not decided how our children will go back to school. So for me, yes, that's a decision I'm going to have to make as a parent. Will she go back and do 
you know, plan A, which is, you know, social distancing. I just don't think that children are really mature enough to be put in a situation where they got to really focus on sanitation and, you know, not touching stuff. Just my personal opinion. But, you know, then our state is trying to decide, do we do remote learning, you know, virtual learning or some remote and some on site? Listen, our state has not made a decision on how our children are going to go back to school. So that's not a decision that I'm sitting, in my, I'm sitting here trying to make right now. Does that make sense to you guys, right? Because most of your, much of your peace is going to be disturbed by the decisions that you haven't decided on. And sometimes you just have to know where to place those decisions. Is this a decision that I gotta make right now in this moment, right? And if it's not, do I need to get in a frenzy or um, do I need to get riled up? Do I need to put all of this emotion and energy into this thing? Because if you do, it's going to pile up with all the other decisions that you need to decide on. And decisions that you need to decide on is something that infiltrates your peace and you can't prosper without peace. Number two. This is another thing that messes with your peace, that messes with your prosperity. Actions you have not taken. Actions you have not taken. Now, of course, you got to do the first thing first. You got to decide, is this, this a decision I need to decide on right now? Or do I need to put this somewhere else? Because once you learn to place them where they should be relative to time, relative to a matter of importance, then you can decide what you need to take action on. But there's so many things that you haven't taken action on and they're floating all in your mind and all the things, right? That they're disturbing your peace and you need your peace in order to prosper. So your actions that you haven't taken will disturb your peace. Next, one of the reasons you can't take action is because you haven't decided. And I just gave you guys a, a strategy. I'm going to be teaching this in a master life class. I decided that. I, I just gave you guys a strategy on uh, deciding first which decisions you even need to make right now. Yes, it is something that is moving forward, but is it a decision that you need to make right now? If it's not, Put the decision off to the side for a minute. Don't let it rest in your mind. Don't let it rest at the forefront of everything that you have to do because you'll, listen, remember I said those things cause you to be double-minded and we know what scripture says about double-minded, right? Somebody tell me what the scripture said, right? About a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. You need peace in order to prosper. And the third thing, that's going to impact and affect your peace, which is going to affect your prosperity. Because you'll do the things, right? Even if there's chaos and stuff, there's certain things we just going to do, right? That normal, regular, routine stuff. But not the stuff that really changes our life. Not the stuff that really shifts the trajectory of our life and our business. Not We won't do those moves when there is no peace. Because you don't have the energy for it, right? You only have the energy for the stuff that you could just do right now just to maintain right? Because you need peace in order to prosper. The third thing that impacts your peace, it affects your peace, which affects your prosperity, is over-involvement in things you can't control. Lord have mercy. Over-involvement in things you can't control. Now this line right here might get a little blurry for everyone because there are a lot of causes there are a lot of um, emotional things that we are faced with in this season. And everyone has a space in those particular things that are transpiring in our world right now. It's a lot going on, right? But what I find is that people get over involved in it to the point where they no longer have any peace. And over involvement in things you cannot control is one of the big things that disturbs your peace. So what is it that you're over involved in? You done got so saturated in that thing until you can't even really function. 
your emotions are haywire, you're all over the place in your thinking, you now started operating in a space of fear and uncertainty because of the over-involvement that you have in things that you cannot control. So you got to sit and say, what is it that I can control? What is it that I can do? Because you'll get inundated with your social media posts. You'll get inundated with the news. You'll get inundated with the five different ways they say the pandemic can or cannot um, infect a person, you know, because it's been so many variations of how a person can be um, infected by, you know, the disease. Things have changed. Wear a mask. Don't wear a mask. Now you need one in public. It's so many different decisions. So you know what I did to, to, to help me have peace in the midst of all of that, right? I'm not trying to figure out all the things. Like, well, is this the truth? Or is that the truth? About I'm not trying to figure out all the things. I just said, okay, what is the safest zone that I can rest in so that I don't have to worry about how much they're changing all of the directives with the pandemic and COVID-19. I said, okay, wear a mask when you go out, be mindful, be careful, social distance. Simple. So I don't have to worry about how, you know, they're saying you can do this and they're saying you can't do that. That's a space of peace for me. So if you notice, I made a decision. I made a decision that regardless of how the story changes, how it unfolds, it won't impact me because I'm just going to stay in what I feel is a safe and a comfort zone, right? So I don't have to get into all the conversations and, you know, be inundated with the news. Well, what is it now? I just pick the zone so that I can focus, so that I can maintain my peace so that I could prosper, right? So that I can maintain my peace so that I can prosper. How many of you during this time feel a little overwhelmed with everything that's going on? I mean, you're still doing the, the regular things in your life and your business, but those things that you know are going to shift the trajectory of your life and your business. For instance, with my client that I was working with recently, who was, she was still moving, right? But she wasn't doing those major things that are going to really cause her to shift that are really going to cause her to meet her income goals and um, implement those strategies needed for the multiple streams of revenue that would actually provide her a safer space regardless of what goes on with the economy. See, you can't prosper without peace. So she just was doing the normal things. And this is a new normal. This is a new normal, guys. So the season that we're in will not function and operate off of old systems. And if we can't move out of those things that we were previously doing, which is what peace normally does, it sends you back to just doing what was comfortable, even if it's not going to shift and take you to the next level because you can't prosper, right? Prosper is to move above and beyond where you currently are to a space of peace and joy and happiness and financial peace, joy, and happiness as well. Health, wellness, all of that. You can't prosper without peace. Listen, all of the stuff that you're watching, all of the decisions that you have to make, yes, we all got to make some decisions that are uncomfortable. Do we send the kids to school? Do we go back to work? All the things. We have decisions to make. Do I stop doing the business that I was even doing before? some big decisions to make, right? But the first space you have to get in is a space of peace. Psalms 126, five and six says, those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. You have to find your center and your space in order to reap in joy. I can go back to, you know, all of the dysfunction that was transpiring in my marriage. I was married for 14 years. I've been divorced going on, you know, really close to three years now. And it was a chaotic, dysfunctional time, guys. But do you know, during that entire process of going to court, um, dealing with my uh, attorney, um, trying to make compromises, making decisions on the home that I lived in forever. Do I want it? Do I want to move? You know, um, what am I going to do? I moved to a completely different city in the midst, in the midst of chaos. Enrolled my daughter into a completely different school during the chaos. Created a mastermind that I filled um, completely 
during that time transitioned my entire business from brick and mortar to making a final decision to be full time and work from home, which has allowed me so much time, freedom, even more peace, right? I did all of those things in the midst of chaos and dysfunction. I came on live about four times a week and I served my tribe and my community and those that needed me in the midst of chaos. And I wasn't faking it until I made it. Y'all don't hear me. I was not faking it until I made it. I was operating and functioning in strategy. I was operating and functioning in strategy because I knew that I couldn't prosper without my peace. I could look back at, you know, like two situation A and situation B when things were, now both situations, there was chaos and confusion, right? There was chaos and confusion in both situations. But in situation A, when there was chaos and confusion and I wasn't strategizing to be able to maintain my peace, I wasn't prospering the same, right? Because one, I was a double-minded man. I was, Lord forgive me, cussing in my head in one moment, moment and the next moment I was um, finding all the fault in my uh, ex. You, you understand what I'm saying? You know, whether he was doing things or uh, wrong or not, I was finding those things and there was no peace and no rest. And in situation A, remember, there was confusion and chaos in situation A and B. But when my prosperity, when my prosperity portal opened, is when I stepped into a space of peace. It's when I began to use strategies to be able to maintain my peace in the midst, midst of chaos, knowing that my would change my environment, right? If I could just get to a space of peace. So all of those things were transpiring and many of you had no idea what was transpiring behind the scene because I was strategizing to maintain my peace because I knew that I needed my peace to prosper. You need your peace to prosper. If you're feeling overwhelmed or consumed in this particular time, maybe it's not a business strategy that you need in the moment. Maybe it's just a shift, uh, a mental trajectory, a mental detox that you actually need in this particular season. I'm hosting a master life class on Sunday. I just decided this this morning because I started thinking about the people that have been connecting with me and I remembered the shift that my client made and how everything just turned around for her when when I walked her through strategies to get to a place of peace in the midst of all the chaos. So I'm inviting you, it's this Sunday, and guys, listen, I'm on a productive rest month. I teach my clients about this. It's how they build their business so that their business is not uh, running their lifestyle, is funding their lifestyle. And during my pro productive rest months, I rest, right? So I am using this time to get my second win for the second half of the year. It's what I do every July. It's called a productive rest month. Um, it gives me another space of clarity because because we all need it. And many of you need it more than you've ever needed before because not only is normal happening, not only do you have life occurrences and situations that are arising and happening in your normal process, but now we're inundated with the other external factors from the pandemic and all of the uh, the climate that our country is seeing at this time, you're also bombarded with that. And I want you to know that you need peace in order to prosper. So I invite you to this master life class this Sunday. And guys, it's 47 bucks. It's a two hour opportunity um, to help you uh, gain peace in the midst of chaos, um, to help you gain your position for productivity when all hell seems to be breaking loose on you be able to shift. Um, I think I put the link in the top for those of you who you're saying, look, I feel a little overwhelmed. I'm only doing the basic essentials because my mind just seems to be everywhere. I want to give you strategies to be able to move into a space of peace so that you can move into your next space of prosperity because you need peace 
in order to prosper. It's going to be a two hour um, master life class on this Sunday. I made the cost a no brainer um, for you. And I'll be serving, showing you strategy. I'm also going to bonus you in walking you through my ASAP method, which is amazing. You'll be able to use that in any situation. You have to allow me to walk you through it for me to be able to explain it fully to you. However, that bonus time that I'm going to spend with you with the ASAP method is going to shift everything. Right, so that you can move into your space of peace. Renewfullcircle.com slash mental detox. Renewfullcircle.com slash mental detox. Go ahead, save your seat. You'll get an email um, and then you'll get directives on how to join us on Sunday. But if you feel overwhelmed and consumed about everything that's transpiring, you got decisions on top of decisions that you need to make. I want to help you to strategize through that so that you can step into a realm of peace so that you can psalm 126 5 through 6 says that you'll sow in tears but you'll reap in joy you got to get in that space of joy in order to do those really major things that are going to make the major differences in your life and your business i pray that this has blessed you on this morning remember you need peace in order to prosper